Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans and this is the speed test comparison between the Honor Play and the Pocophone F1. Right here my friends is two of the best bang for the buck phones in the market right now. Each having flagship processors within their system. Snapdragon 845 processor on the Pocophone, Kirin 970 on the Honor Play. This my friends is a monstrous battle. Now just pre-assessing the situation right here, the processor on the Pocophone is actually a little bit better than the Honor Play. Well based on anterior scores I saw on the internet. But when it comes to PUBG gaming, the Honor Play right here has GPU Turbo, which means it's gonna turbocharge the processor to be much more optimized for playing PUBG. Really excited to see that matchup later. And as usual in the Tech Bean speed test comparison videos, we're gonna do three things. Check out which one of these guys can launch these apps the fastest, which is better in Antutu, and which one can play PUBG the best. But before we start, don't forget, I'm giving away this Pocophone F1 to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my great content. Also, if you want to know more about the phones that I'm giving away, just check out the descriptions below. And without further ado, let the battle begin. No. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna check if there are apps open in the background. I'm just gonna close all of these up. All right. Also just wanna confirm if we're using Wi-Fi right here. Yes. Okay, let's start. First up is the Google Play Store. Wow, first. Okay. Next is YouTube. And this was first. And this loaded up a little bit slower. Let us go to Google Chrome. It's gonna load GSM Arena here. This was much faster, it loaded up the page much quicker. Okay, now let's go to Spotify. Wow, this loaded up really slow. Okay, so far the Pocophone F1 is winning. Now this actually loaded up a little bit quicker. It was hard to tell, it actually looked like it opened up at the same time. Now for Google Maps. This one loaded up quicker. Okay, so the Honor Play actually has a chance right here. But what about games? Subway Surfer. Now this is where we're actually gonna see a big difference right here. The processor is gonna be used more intensively here. Okay, the Pocophone F1 is first, the Honor Play second. Next up is something much heavier, Asphalt 8. Alright. I think they're gonna be launching at the same time. No, the Pocophone F1 is much faster. All right, so far so good for the Pocophone F1. Now for Hungry Shark. Wow, it's really dominating right now. Cool. Pocophone F1, guys. And finally we have Mario Run. Wow, look at that. This is definitely gonna finish first. See that? Boom. And there you have it, the power of the Pocophone F1. Now let's start the N22 benchmark test. And off the Pocophone go. From what I'm seeing right here, the smoothness in both phones are actually almost equal. Wow. Now there's actually a little bit lag here. No, the rendering right here is actually much better. Wow, that's fast, look at that. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's insane. Okay, that finished just there. Wow, this is the fastest ever uh, Antutu benchmark I have done so far. Even faster than the Black Shark versus the Razer phone. And those phones actually cost much, much more than these guys right here. This is really insane. Just insane. And there you have it guys. Here are the scores on both phones. The Pocophone has 73,000 more points than the Honor Play. It just beat the Honor Play in every category here. That is just how powerful the Pocophone F1 is. And finally, I'm gonna run PUBG test on both phones. On the Honor Play, I need to open PUBG inside of Game Suite with Game Acceleration turned on so that it takes advantage of GPU Turbo. And let's begin. All right, I just changed to landscape mode because I'm gonna play PUBG right here. This is the Honor Play and this is the Pocophone F1. And I set both to max settings right here, HDR graphics, ultra frame rates, realistic. And I turned on anti-aliasing for both. And I disabled this last part right here so that the graphics is always at max. And let's start. And here we go. 
Both are looking very impressive right now. I don't see any form of slowdown right here. Both look very, very smooth. Hmm, but I believe that the Pocophone F1 right here is a little bit better in terms of graphics. I can see the extra details right there on the Pocophone F1. Yeah, you can actually see some extra details right here on the plane on the Pocophone F1. I would have to say that both are almost equally smooth. And based on my observations, everything on the Pocophone F1 looks much, much better. The shadows, the textures, the models, it does look much, much better. Especially that lighting on his back. Wow, it looks so nice. Now, like I told you on my Pocophone F1 unboxing, this is already PC graphics levels. This is on a league of itself. This still looks like a mobile game right here. But this one, I guess it's because of the lighting that makes this so, so much like a PC game. But I'm not saying that the Honor Play is not really doing good. It's really doing great. It's not lagging, it looks good. I can't complain about it. Both of these guys are tremendous gaming phones right here. But if I only had to choose one, <laughs> there's no question about it. It's the Pocophone F1. It may be a little bit more expensive, but it definitely beats the Honor Play by a mile. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need to check the liquid cooling that really works. I have been playing for about 30 minutes now. And let's check how hot this is. 46 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Celsius on the Pocophone F1. There you go, guys. I guess it's not a gimmick anymore, is it? It actually works. It may be warm, but not hot. The Pocophone F1 is the way to go. If you had any doubts on which phone to buy, I just made it really clear right here. Definitely, you should go for the Pocophone F1, period. And that's pretty much it for this speed test and PUBG test. Next up, I'm gonna be comparing these guys on a battery drain test and a battery charge test together with the Oppo F9 right here. Yes, that matchup is going to be super epic. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. This is Vince Vinger from TechBeans, and I'll see you on the next video.